All right, welcome. This is M Dog, and this is going to be a uh, first look at actually the tutorial for Imperator Rome, which is the most recent game from Paradox. Uh, it, so, in the past with Paradox, I've put the most time in on Crusader Kings 2 and uh, a little bit of time on EU4. Games before that. Um, or other Paradox games I've played some, but not as much, I would say. Those are the two that I've played the most of. But even with those two, I would, I would warn you to say that I have a very surface understanding of those games. When I played Crusader Kings 2, which I have played off and on over the years, I sort of just have my own little groove. There's a lot of the game that I probably don't understand as well as many people do and such. So, so playing through the tutorial for this game is something that I need to do. Uh, because, you know, there are so many moving parts in a game like, uh, in, in Paradox games that, for me at least, it's helpful to review things, and I'm sure in this game things are going to be called different things than what I'm used to from uh, Crusader Kings 2, and this probably compares a little more directly to EU4, to be honest. A little less of the role-playing sort of stuff that made Crusader Kings 2 so delightful for me at least. Um, and more similar to EU4, which tends to feel a little drier to me. So I don't know. I'm curious to see how this one feels. But let's jump in here and um, and take a look at it. I'm not going to make let this video get too long because it will be a fairly dry just going through this tutorial. And, uh, and then we'll see. I've thought about doing a YouTube series, sort of a playthrough on Crusader Kings 2. But as I was planning that or thinking about that, uh, this game was being it was being ramped up to the to the to this game coming out. So I want to play this one a little bit, which I haven't done yet, and and see you know if that still is the plan for me in terms of CK2 uh, or, or maybe to do something with this one since it's so timely. Okay, let's get in here. Uh, by completing the series objectives, which you will find on the left hand side of the screen, we will introduce you to the basic principles behind playing Imperator Rome. The button on the left hand side of your screen embossed with a wreath and a spear will allow you to open and close the tutorial object. I assume that's this. Yeah, so this probably won't usually be there, I'm guessing. Um, you will be able to complete objectives in order you choose. However, if you're new to Paradox Idols, we're making you follow the objective list from top to bottom, which is what we'll try to do. Holding your mouse over an objective will provide you hints on how to fulfill the conditions. When the conditions are met, objectives will be highlighted to show they are ready to turn in. Already I feel like, and again this might be my memory of the other game's tutorials, but this already feels a little different in terms of how the tutorial seems to be structured. Uh, for over 20 years, so this says Sinitus Populus Romana, Romanus. For over 20 years the nascent Roman Republic has fought a harsh campaign against the Samnite people to the north. Uh, I kind of wish we could read this and still see where we're talking about. We also need to change the view so that we can more easily tell who's what. Although it'd be cool to play on this setting. I've never done that, where you really can see the terrain and everything just looks like land, right? And all you have is a sort of outline to give you a clue of like, is this my nation, not my nation? I always go with the like straight up, you know, either political map mode, I guess is what I'm used to. Anyway, all right. Um, Although victory often seems far from grasp, the war ended in Rome's favor, resulting in the liberation of the important Greek city of Neopolis. The Samnites, however, have retreated to lick their wounds or far from defeated. In the north, the Etrusian people eye the expansion of the Republic with an apprehension. To the south, myriad Greek city-states plot behind one another's backs, all while appealing to the benefactors in Greece for aid. On the far-flung island of Sicily, the foreign invasion of the mysterious Carthaginian Empire threatens to upset the precarious balance of power in the region. Will Rome rise victorious or fall to internal strife and barbaric hordes? The fate of the Republic rests in your hands for the Republic. Okay. This is the starting situation. It looks like the game is paused. Okay. And we're October 2nd, 450. So, oh. For those who prefer the Gregorian calendar, the current date is October 2nd, 304 BCE. Um, so I don't know if this is always the starting time when you start a new game in this. I mean, I, I, obviously with like at this point with Crusader Kings, there's so many different start dates you can use, but 
All right, during the tutorial, we'll be playing as Rome. Maybe it'll tell us right here. The current date, which you can find in the top right corner of your screen, is the 1st October 450 AB, or 500 years after the founding of Rome. Local dominance. The stage is set for your expansion throughout the Italian region. So that's why this tells you, it, I guess, BCE. I mean, is that the same as BC? Maybe. So we're talking about like 304 years before Christ. I mean, basically, isn't that how the calendar, at least that we know it, is, is divided? BC, AD, I'm, you know, I like history, but do I know that much about some aspects of it? Probably not, but I do think that is the time period we're in, right? Is, wait, is that right? Maybe this is after Jesus, but before Christianity has really exploded, or is it before? I don't know. I shouldn't be trying to figure this out in the midst of the video, but that's, that's where I am, honest and confused. All right, um... We'll teach you how to cover these areas over the course. Oh, thank you. At the top bar, the main resources you will accrue or spend over the course of your game. We recommend you spend a moment getting acquainted with these by holding your mouse over the icon at each, and you'll be able to see a tooltip detailing some of their effects and uses. Purpose of the tutorial will provide you with a significant bonus to your treasury and power resources. Oh, really? We have 5,206.8, whatever that is, in our treasury. Uh, we're getting eight from taxes, two from commerce, and that's what we're spending stuff on army, fleet, and fort maintenance, and then also wages. The previous monthly balance was 0.39. So they have just pumped a bunch into our treasury. All right, that's the treasury. Second is manpower, and it looks like this is what they've also... Yeah, they've also bumped this up tremendously. We get 214 each month, and there's no manpower loss or attrition from from POPs, 188, from subjects, 26. I don't know what POPs are. Um, your base manpower is from POPs. Hmm. Is there a dictionary in this game? There probably is. Um... Okay, it just kind of breaks down where you're getting your man, your manpower from. And then we have military power. I wonder, that's probably also more than you would normally start off with this this time. Plus six due to base. Ideas match government and consul Publius Sempronius Sophus. So much to say. Civic power. So this is all of our resources. Oratory power. So that helps you make decisions. This is towards civic power aspects this is obviously military and then we have religious power piety and zeal okay onwards what is happening oh no let's pause it i didn't know it was going to be running what were we wanting to look up hmm capital i guarantee you somewhere in here there is a some kind of thing where you can look up stuff. A dictionary. Who knows? Alright. Stabilize Rome. Open the religion window and click on the sacrifice to gods interaction. No pigs were harmed during the making of this tutorial. Rome games one stability. Okay. Where's the religious window? Oh, here we go. Sacrifice to the gods. The proper ritual costs 268, so we're using a resource to gain an effect, which is stability. Where can we see our current stability? Is our st current stability is one? All right, let's see what happens when we do this. Yep, okay. Our Rome, sorry, our realm is more Stable. Okay, so we did the first thing, right? So let's unpause it for a second. All right, let's call down an omen. Omens are important features uh, in Imperator Rome. Open the religious window to browse which omens are available to you. It's important to note that only one omen may be active at once, and an omen may not be revoked once chosen. But once it's expired, a new one may be picked. Blessing of Fortuna... But feel free to try out something different. So this is right back to the religious thing. And they're recommending this. 
aggressive expansion change minus 0 0.05 so we can get discipline national manpower national commerce income can you move these around too it does not look like you can blessing of fortuna blessing of fortuna all right so they're saying less national unrest is what we want that's fine we'll do that all right so national unrest until 13th of october 455 so five years we get minus 2.24 modifier on national unrest okay very good have an army of 30 cohorts Build cohorts so you can average 30,000. Okay. Train can be initiated in one of a number of ways. Using the macro builder, which can be found on the top left of your screen. Selecting a city and using recruit cohorts. Selecting army and selecting recruit to unit button. Go ahead and recruit at least 30 cohorts. Merge them into one army. So you really can't, you have to, okay. All right. Um, all right, so the other, so this is one way we can do it, right? Is with, what's this called? The macro builder. Or we can go somewhere and specifically in that place we can build units. Where's the cohorts? As long as you don't do ships, I guess you're doing cohorts, any of the peoples. And what was the third way they said we could do this? Oh, select an army. Oh, wait. Is that a, that's a missionary? That's a mercenary just sitting there? All right. So we can... There should be a way to recruit specifically to this thing, unless it's full. Yeah. Yep. 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 All right, so let's recruit people to this. Or actually, no, let's don't. Let's just recruit in general. And let's recruit some of these guys. Oh, did that happen? So you have to choose a place to do it. Is that what we're saying? Oh, those guys are expensive. All right, um, ten. So it costs. Okay. Well, let's do it here so we can see it. So now that we start a queue. Oh, so you don't have to click on it every time. You just keep clicking on, like, places. Oh, I like these guys. I wonder how many we've got now. Is there a way to see? Looks like four. How many are we supposed to do? Like, 30? Is that what it said? Have an army of 30 cohorts? Where's my total army size? Seven, thirteen, nineteen. So we're gonna need some more. All right. Why don't we all meet up here? And let's. Uh, oh, I guess we're still making people. Let's keep. Let's keep. Let's keep building. Uh. Do we want a war elephant? No, we can't. Those guys are pretty cheap, and I like them. 
I just have a feeling that's going to be enough, right? I could be wrong, though. We shall see. Does it tell you how many you have? Thirty thousand. Surely that doesn't mean in one uh, one army. I mean, that's counting our whole military, I would think. Can we join these guys together? Yeah. All right, they are one unit now. Oh, wait, what? Some issues tend to divide the house, and none more so than public indecency. Uh, approach our council and offer to support a large portion of religious faction. If all support was left unspoken, we should be... Able I don't... Okay. Well, okay. Sure. Your support is welcome. Yeah, it's kind of like if we need to have... I don't want to overdo it here. Because if it's... But if it's that we need to have... You know, 30 in this, like, one army. I guess we could move these guys here. And then we could really see, like... So that's 28. Like, we, we're about to have 30 in one army. And that'll tell us if... Oh, there we go. We've done it already. Okay. So let's join them. That is one big army. Let's all meet here now. Alright, let's pause it. Let's see what the next thing we're supposed to do is. Let's see what the next thing we're supposed to do is. Alright. Have 12. Alright, so we're building boats now. Port, supplied with wood. All the ports that Rome begins with are supplied with wood. All right, 12 ships. Okay, so we, we are these ships right here? Yeah, we've got four, so we need eight ships. Looks like that's the, oh, no, we can build them here too. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. That should be good then, right? Yeah. All right, let's unpause it. This is a massive army. It might be too big. Uh-oh. What, what's that skull? Backup army. I don't know what's going on. Alright. How close are we to building these boats? 26 days, 24 days? Okay. Wait. Oh, yeah, there's our 30 troops. It looks like they're like. It looks like the skull came up because they were here, right? Maybe not. And then we can sh sail them to here? I'm assuming. This is one thing I've not done a lot with in uh, either Crusader Kings or EU4. Probably more in EU4, but it's been a long time ago, is um, stuff with, with the ships, honestly. I usually start in places where the things that I want to do can be accessed via land. All right, we're almost done with, how many are we gonna have? Wait, it looks like, looks like we're gonna be way short. Yeah, 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 we need, we need more, right? I think we need more.
think I severely miscalculated. All right, that'll be eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I think that'll do it. What are we doing next? Construct, construct eight training camps. So it's just teaching you how to do like each of the basic things. So far, I like this tutorial. I mean, you're gonna have to generalize a lot, right? Like it's gonna tell you the, I mean, you're gonna have to be able to take the knowledge from the tutorial and then apply it in all different kinds of ways. Uh, son has been born to someone. Okay. Usually that's a good thing. So we've got to wait on one more, one more uh, rounds of, of, of boats being built, which will be shortly. We've got a disloyal character and he is a party leader or the party leader. I don't know. It's not good. All right, we're almost there. We'll start working on our training camps. I guess I could fast forward a little bit here. Get there a little quicker. It's funny because like the regular game is still running in the background. You know, like random stuff could happen, I guess, while we're doing the tutorial. All right, we've got the 12. All right, construct eight training camps. Whoa, let's pause it. I guess it is possible. All right. Um, he approached our council and offered to support a large portion of religious faction. Uh, I mean, I guess we accept this. See, that's something I don't really understand. All right. Um, training camps. Okay. Eight of your cities. To do this, click on a city and locate the training camp on the right side of the progress bar's construction icon. Okay, let's see here. Uh, wait, I, I don't really... Which ones are our cities? Alright. Oh, uh, wait. Maybe this is it. Nope. Stop. Training camp. There's already two training camps there. Oh, uh, we can do another training camp. Cool, we got that going at least. One second. All right, sorry about that. Um, Quintus Falls. Okay, interesting. So we have all these buildings going. How many did we need? I think we overdid it, right? Oh, we've already done it. Okay. 
Import fish to lastium. All right, we need to wrap this first one up. We still got plenty more. We'll, we'll break this into two parts. Let's do this next thing, and then we'll work on um, the second part of the tutorial for the next video. All right, import fish to latium. In order to keep your cities from starving, can I pause it? Yeah. Uh, enough food to keep them growing. Rome is safe from starvation. Importing fish to latium will increase the growth speed of your pops. Population, is that just a word for population? Latium is a province to which the city of Rome belongs. Clicking on Rome, you'll see the right top corner of the province UI. Trade route bottom, uh, button. Click on this, select fish. See which province has With the owning country displayed on the right. Countries with the grayed out button will not export to you unless you improve relations. Asking the first nation in the tier for fish. This will begin importing to Latium. All right, so let's see, where's Latium? It looks like, wait. Provinces, is that what we want? Latium. Yeah, 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 okay. So if I had clicked on any of this, yeah, you know, all of it is the province of Latium. If you do trade route, okay. And then we want fish and then we'll take it from Emporia. It costs 25 local population growth and it'll earn us, earn us money each month. Okay. So we're now earning fish. Let's see. Did that give us credit for that? Yeah. All right, so just, just looking ahead here, conquer the Sabini, the lands to your north. Let's fabricate claim. Sabini. Hold on, is that a province? Sabini. Oh, it highlights it. It's these guys. How would I have known that was the Sabini? He's married with a child. Huh. I don't really... Don't really see how that, uh, they're known as the Sabini. Okay, well, I'll take your word for it. It does say he's a tribal chief of Sabini. Okay, where it is, yeah, okay. Sabini, here we go. It is a settled tribe, so we can learn more information about that. Okay, all right. Okay, well, this has been part one of the tutorial. As always, thanks for watching. Uh, I will do the second part of this tutorial, and then we'll just kind of see how we're feeling about the game, and, and then maybe to make a decision on if we're going to try to do more with this on our YouTube channel, or if we're going to kind of go back to the original plan and look at Crusader Kings 2. But as always, thanks for watching.